my baby dog. That's just 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 my baby.
when we were kids. And, ah, what? <laughs> And that was Group E, awesome set of teams. We have three more groups to go. Uh, but before we do that, let's go ahead and draw for our giveaway. So we have, once again, that was from our friends at Sword Dry Specialties for this awesome t-shirt. By the way, if you win, make sure you go to firstupdisnow.com slash winner in order to uh, fill out the information we need in order to claim. Uh, winner for that is uh, a Twitch subscriber, by the way. It's uh, BamCD0. Congratulations to you uh, for winning the uh, Sword Dry Specialties giveaway. And then let's go ahead and draw from the, um, the for the medium t-shirt from 4500. And 4500 was the keyword for that the winner of that is going to be doo -doo, uh, tiger 57 congratulations tiger 57 uh so once again make sure you go to firstupdatesnow.com slash winner in order to claim let's talk about the teams in uh group e everybody yeah kicking it off was team 233 one of my all-time favorite teams the pink team uh looking at the details of the robot pausing the video a bunch of times ton of really cool little mechanical features uh that this robot has uh really love the progression of their cad model uh, in the video intro, we talked about it offline just now. Like so many teams are featuring their CAD in their videos, uh, which is really cool to see. Over the bumper intake looks like it really could take a beating. Uh, like many teams, I saw some provisions for a climber, um, but didn't see it in action as teams continue to work on the robots. But it looks like another winner from Team 233. Up next was 4635. Uh, definitely win the award for the wildest practice bumpers. Uh, yeah, they have a fair amount of uh, coolness to pull that off, but the robot looks awesome, performs great. Adjustable angled shooter gives them a very wide range to shoot from. Uh, the robot was also uh, looks like it really excelled at the amp. Um, they can control the note all the way until it's in the amp, so no loss of control, which is certainly going to increase their consistency. So another beautifully machined robot, um, an awesome machine from the Bot Busters. Next was 581, the Blazing Bulldogs. Uh, one of the few one that I'm covering that showed off really a nice auto mode in their video. They showcase scoring from multiple locations on the field. Uh, you can see in the one shot, uh, the arm continually adjusting to the robot's position on the field. So utilizing the April tags, nice piece of programming there. Uh, amp scoring looked as easy as it could be. Uh, looks like they're on the verge of trapping as well. Something that we have not seen a ton of uh, in the robots, at least I'm covering. So kudos uh, to 581 on a great machine for Crescendo. And then last of the group for me was 6413 Degrees of Freedom. Cool to see some of the prototyping process, including pneumatic puncher, which is something uh, that our team didn't look at, but cool to see uh, just the, the breadth of um, prototypes that, that some teams go to. The cool montage, CAD montage again showed up. Robot as Swerve Drive appears to be coming together nicely as they prepare for their first events later in the season. So I had a great bunch of teams in this group. What did you see, Mike? Yep, so the first in my group was 1825, the Cyborgs, and they had some really nice editing here with their video, as we've talked about. There seems to be a theme here uh, in this group. Uh, we saw various phases of their mechanisms and prototypes, but really kind of didn't get to see it all put together. So they'll be at the Greater Kansas City Regional this year, so we'll kind of get to see how it all comes together here at that regional. So uh, good work so far, and good luck the rest of the way to the Cyborgs. Uh, up next, we have Rookie Team 9442, Miso Mechanics. Um, They've, I, I was saying to Justin, Justin, I, we've been doing this 11 years. This may be, we've seen, we've already talked about it in the show where we've seen, uh, you know, robots in various warehouses, shops, outside, inside, everywhere. I don't know if we've seen one on uh, a football field yet. So yeah, that, is, that is a first. <laughs> yeah. So that was great. A great ending shot uh, on their team there. So, um, <clears throat> so great looking machine from Mesa Mechanics. They really showed off their scoring from deep in their zone, uh, which really can help with those cycles, cut down on cycles and be able to do some more. So they'll be in the Pacific Northwest District this season. So good luck to them. Uh, up next, 868, the Tech Hounds. Really like the editing out of this video too. A uh, really well put together intake. Uh, kind of can we saw the kind of the, the no go both ways if they needed to uh, through the intake. 
Um, and then this is one of those rare tall bots that we've seen this year. And they do that for with that elevator system uh, to kind of really execute that trap scoring. So really excited to see um, kind of the give and take uh, that many teams, you know, decided to go, decided to go low tech house decided to go high for really that reliability of the, um, of the trap scoring. So excited to see how they do uh, this year with that. We talked a lot about 868 during the break while we, while we were watching this video offline. So uh, great, great bot there and good luck to the tech hounds. And from the tech hounds to the robo hounds, 4,500 ended off this group. Uh, they showed us kind of some robot POV, which was really popular. Uh, many, many premieres, three nights ago. Uh, great to see kind of that. You kind of really get to see how the robot all works in the, in the inner, um, you know, workings of that. So um, they have a great handoff to intake from their shooter. And they'll be at the Oklahoma Regional and the Green County Regional this year. So um, nice looking robot there from the Robo Hound. So that does it for Group E.